What's going on guys? Uh, thanks for coming back and checking out this week's video. Gonna do a little review on a new uh, code reader scan tool that was sent to me by uh, ThinkCar. Uh, my buddies over there um, emailed me and shipped me one and said, hey, do a YouTube review on it, play with it, see what, uh, see what it's like, uh, see if you like it. Um, I have yet to actually try one of these little OBD Bluetooth app scanners. These things are... Um, just haven't done it yet. I haven't got a hold of one, so this is my first one. Uh, normally, I'm using code readers that you know, they're typical code readers that look like this right here. Here's a little bit of my collection that I have at home. You know, some OTC, Matco, and this uh, Top Dawn one right here that I just got. This one actually works pretty darn well. And uh, yeah, so this thing is actually supposed to replace that style and actually do a whole lot more. And uh, go ahead and uh, pull it out of the package and uh, see what it looks like and see what it can do, see what it's actually, its functions can do. Um, from what I've read, see there's another one like called Blue Driver or something like that. Um, they give you the ability to do a little bit more than those little handhelds over there. Uh, I mean, you have the power of, you know, the internet and everything like that helping you. Um, so they give you a little bit more. This one's supposed to be like that, I guess. Uh, I guess we'll find out here in a minute when I hook it up to the truck. Um, got a Silverado, can't remember what year it is, like an 09. And it has the ABS light on right now. So, see what kind of data this, uh, this tells me and if it helps me fix it. So all you gotta do is go to your, the Google Play Store or the Apple Store and Type in Think Car and just install the app. All right, so I got a 2009 Chevy Silverado. Come down to the OBD port here. That's what you're looking for. And get your Think Car Bluetooth scanner adapter. What are you going to call it? Just plug it right in. Start the truck up. Got going on here. Got me a bad key, that's what I got. Locks down. Battery's getting low on the truck. Let's see what we got here. Stability track. Stability track off. Got some ABS lights, some traction lights. Close the door. All right, so once you got the Bluetooth paired up, this is the screen that pops up rural, like right from the beginning. And right away, it shows you uh, all kinds of data. It shows you that the check engine light, the mill status is off, the RPM, the fault codes I have, how fast I'm going, um, temperature of the engine, my voltage. It has a flashlight. I'll turn my flashlight on and on, on my phone. This is helpful because you're trying to figure out what's wrong with your car. Engine runtime, throttle position, load. Uh, mass airflow. Okay, so this is this. That's a good one too. So that's that's like I guess the home screen for this right here. All right, and is this the speed right here? I don't know what that is. That might be speed, but all right. So let's go here to this and OBD functions, full vehicle module scan. Real-time uh, real remote diagnostics. What this is for here is this is actually, this feature what this is for is is if like, um, if you have like a mechanic um, that you use uh, a lot or regularly, um, what you can do is, is you can send him um, data and um, everything this thing reads, you can send it to him over the internet and he can use your scan tool basically um, from where he's at. He doesn't have to have the car. So that's pretty cool. So this this pretty much connects the whole car to the internet where your technician can work on your car, diagnose your car from the shop. He doesn't even need your car. He can watch you drive around and do all the, the things like that. Black box is for recording. Okay, so you can go ahead and um, from what I understand is just you go in and you can record um, every five seconds or every 10 seconds of what your car is doing while you're driving around and you can upload it into your phone so hold on to that so you can kind of try to find out what's going on with it so you have the two modes here this is the basic mode that you're going to get with the scanner um, it's basically just a code reader it's going to uh, record the check engine light 
um, codes that you might get. It won't do any body uh, codes, like if you have any tire pressure light codes or you have problems with like some of the switches in your car or anything like that. Um, it just does your basic engine f functions, I guess you can say. And uh, see what else it can do. It's probably where it's going to show me my data. So it shows me the VIN, um, my status. Readiness has to do with your emissions. You're going to need your readiness. Uh, this is for you know passing state inspection. You need to know that. Um, basically, readiness not complete, zero. So this number here is either going to determine whether you get a state inspection or not. Because if it says like two or three, you won't get your state inspection. Most of the machines out there will fail. At least here in Texas, it's going to fail you automatically if it says like a two or a three. You get away with one or zero, but not a two or a three. Go ahead and go a little further and uh, actually uh, read readiness. So what we got here actually tells you exactly what it's reading. Evapometer, O2 sensor monitor. Um, tells you if it's ready or not. Just set it a second ago. Yeah, there we go. Ready. That's if uh, these functions are pretty much after you fix your car to find out if it's really fixed or not. Um, data stream, freeze frame. Freeze frame is going to uh, give you the information if the, when the check engine light came on um, the car records that and it's going to give you all the information the check engine light isn't on in this car it has an ABS light so it's not going to do a freeze frame on the ABS light and then data stream alright it shows you quite a bit of data for it being the basic part of the scanner let's go ahead and see what we got here and alright that's pretty cool all up to date Ambient temperature, you can look at your catalysts, look at your cats and see how well they're doing. So really help you diagnose your car, you know, if it's having issues running, drivability issues, oxygen sensor problems. This is really good uh, if you have any type of, you know, if you're a technician, you'll, you'll understand this real well. But uh, I'll help you understand things a little further when you come to fix your car. I'll save you some money. Go back, read fault code. The car doesn't have any codes right now, so it shouldn't say anything. No codes, clear codes, tests. That kind of, that's kind of up to the vehicle manufacturer if they'll let you do any of that. And control operation of onboard components. That's also kind of determined by um, the manufacturer if a basic reader will be able to do anything like that. I don't think this thing's gonna actually let me do any of that. It's too basic. You actually need a really high-end scanner or a factory scanner to control stuff like that. Okay, so that's the basic functions that come with it, which is pretty cool. I'll give you a little report, like a full report, I guess. And this part of it here, from what I understand, is part of um, either a subscription or just an unlock fee. And this is what's going to allow you to get to your ABS your um, airbag and your like body codes like the different models you have in your car like the control like the window switches or something like that this thing this is gonna let you in in there and from what I understand it's like it's like another ten dollars for one vehicle to unlock all the functions for a year um, this thing right when you buy it it gives you 60 days with one car or it doesn't it lets you use it without um, charging you anything it doesn't cost you anything but after the 60 days you're either going to pay for like ten dollars for a year or you can pay twenty five dollars which will unlock it for uh, forever and um, you can use it on multiple cars like here it's already reading the VIN going through the, the VIN and actually trying to check out the subscription that I have right now it says mine's good till January of next year It'll remind me when it expires if I want to renew. Okay, so. Now it's going to talk to every module in the car, I'm going to guess. That's going to take a little bit of time for it to do that. I 
Now this is something all those little code readers that I have will not do. They will not go through and and read like uh, all the modules that you have in your car, which I think this thing's going to end up doing. Like especially with like a GM, it has modules for like the windows, the headlights, the trailer brake. This thing's going to go through and read all of it. Right now it's going through all of it. Transmission module. What it's doing is it's actually going through all these modules and uh, going to give me any type of codes. Yeah, it's, it's actually going to tell me a whole lot. So you just have to unlock this feature and pay a little bit more. So the, the mo so this thing itself, the little OBD reader, was what, $39 on Amazon? And then uh, that's with the coupon. And then another $25 to unlock it all the way. So you're looking at about 65 bucks. It's still cheaper than that blue driver. And from what it looks like, it's going to do the same thing, if not more than the blue driver. So what I'm looking for, because this truck has the ABS, uh, and it's telling me to service the stability, or stability track. I'm looking for ABS codes. All right, so it's it's done scanning. Engine control module. It's got one fault. So see, it has these faults for like the door switches and stuff like that. You get these faults uh, when things are taken apart and the keys turned. So I don't have any issues. The only issue I have is that ABS line. And here is your supplemental inflatable restraint. Yeah, that means your airbag light or your airbag module. So it's got one one fault there. Now, from what's that from? Who knows? You know, it might be from the, the seatbelt not making good connection like one time, and it'll record the fault. So electronic brake control module. So what we're looking for? So we're looking for the ABS. So that's this right here. Okay, so that doesn't do anything. Let's go hit report and see what happens. Here's a whole report here. These are all the issues. And right from the beginning, number one, it says right rear wheel speed sensor circuit, okay? And then uh, it's had, um, I guess it's had problems with the EVAP vent system also. Okay, which these are the two. That's gonna be actually a check engine light. That it's, it's actually the computer in the car has actually recorded that but it's not throwing the check engine light but it's telling me that it's it's in history tire pressure sensors pretty much this thing has bad tire pressure sensors um, okay so let's go to let's see electronic brake control module that's the ABS and then here's my code right here for the right rear wheel speed sensor circuit, which is the C0050. And uh, that's pretty much why the ABS light's on. Passenger presence module erratic. That's the airbag right there. Don't need to worry about that. Now it should let me clear all these codes but I need to fix the wheel speed sensor and I actually have a brand new one somewhere I'm going to throw that on here real quick and then clear this bad boy <coughs> all right so that's pretty cool and it actually tells me quite a bit and I like how it kind of puts it in this report right here which gives you kind of like a breakdown of everything in a nice uh, organized way I'm gonna go and replace that speed sensor real quick See what the code was again, that C0050. And uh, come back and clear it and uh, see uh, see how that goes. All right, so I'm back here at the right rear wheel. And uh, this is the wheel speed sensor here and they're fairly easy to replace. It's this one little torx bolt here and the sensor would come out. And then these clips here, you just take them off and you unplug it and replace it with the new one.
And these guys get a little dirty a little bit of, after some time. Maybe a little, a little gooed up. Alright, so I got the new wheel speed in. I'm gonna go and erase that code real quick and see what we got. Alright, so turn the truck back on and instantly I don't have the ABS lights at all. I don't have the service uh, stability anymore. I still need to change the oil on this thing and fix the tire pressure light. But uh, just replacing that sensor automatically fixed the lighting right here on the dash. The, the vehicle recognized it. But if I go back into the scan tool, and the reports, it still shows me that I have an issue or I had an issue. I can go right back into the module. And that's it right there. Okay, I'm gonna go back. And what I'm gonna wanna do is I wanna clear all these codes. I wanna clear all of them. And it's gonna go ahead and start clearing everything for me. It's pretty cool. It's going to get rid of all these other little bogus little codes. And a lot of those other ones are just from uh, the vehicle being taken apart or the battery dying or, or something. Not necessarily there's actually something wrong. Do, do, do. Not too bad. Alright. Let's see, we still got a fault code. Remote control door lock receiver. Uh, I don't know what's up with that, but it wouldn't clear it. Nope. Okay. And then what we can do is go back, scan it all again to make sure we got it. I'm pretty sure we got it. Because the car itself isn't giving me the display anymore. And that's pretty much it. The all right, so the Think Car One OBD Bluetooth scanner, it did everything I needed it to do. Um, this is definitely something I'm gonna leave in my toolbox or have in my toolbox or leave in the car. It's definitely gonna help me out with doing uh, check engine lights and uh, repairing vehicles. And uh, it's pretty cheap. It's cheaper than uh, some of these high-end scanners, recorders that I got, and it's definitely gonna, definitely gonna help me out. Um, if you want any information on it or if you want to get one, I'll leave a link down in the description box below. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. You guys take care, be safe, and have a great weekend. Later.